Today we're repeating the LumaCube 2.0 versus the Lytra Torch 2.0. Udi Tirosh here with DIYphotography.net. A few years back, we tested the original LumaCube versus the Lytra Torch. Since then, both companies came out with a 2.0 version and we wanted to see how the new lights compare. Let's start by looking at the form factor. Both lights kept their original shape, so the Lytra is still a little more compact than the LumaCube. Both lights are waterproof, the Lytra for 60 feet and the LumaCube for 30. Both lights have a tighter beam angle than before. 70 degrees on the Lytra and 80 degrees on the LumaCube. I can't really say that one is better than the other, but if this matters to you, then now you know. Most of the times though, you'd want to use the middle of the beam. Let's look at the photo matrix. Looking at full brightness from one meter, the LumaCube measures about 256 lux and the Lytra measures about 495. So the Lytra is about twice as bright at the center of the beam. Looking at color temp, the Lytra is balanced at about 5700 Kelvin, while the LumaCube gives out about 6100 Kelvin. That means that the Lytra is a bit more balanced for daylight. Lastly, looking at the CRI, the Lytra stands at about 93, while the LumaCube is at about 92. This is not really a big difference. I will say though, that the Lytra performed a bit above its advertised specs, while the LumaCube fell slightly under what it advertises. According to the specs, you'd get about 40 minutes of full light from the LumaCube and just over 35 minutes from the Lytra. Again, this is not a big difference time-wise, but you need to remember that the Lytra is almost double as bright. If you match the light output, the Lytra battery would actually be almost twice as long. Both lights have a quarter 20 thread for mounting and the Lytra also has a magnetic back for sticking it on cars, signs or any metallic objects. The Lytra charges via micro USB and the LumaCube charges via USB-C. So chances are that by now you have more LumaCube compatible cables at home. The LumaCube still wins as far as control goes. It has a dedicated app and you can set the brightness without even touching the cube. This is really handy if you mount the light really high or in hard to reach places or even if you simply have a dozen of them and can't be bothered with setting each light individually. The Lytra is full on manual. The last thing to look at is the package value. The Lytra Torch 2.0 comes with a dome diffuser, magnetic desks called shoe and GoPro mounts, and a belt clip. The LumaCube 2.0 comes with a DSLR mount, a gel frame, a diffuser, and a warming gel. Both lights sell at about $90 a pop. Tell us which of the lights you're gonna get for this holiday season. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Share, like, subscribe, Udi Tirosh, DIYphotography.net, and I'll be seeing you around. Oh, my God.